Hello there, everybody. I've been asked to answer some questions for you. And the first question is, what are my pet peeves about producing bands that are working at my studio, Rancho de la Luna? Well, let me tell you, I don't have any pet peeves because I'm a very lucky gentleman. Anytime anyone comes from anywhere to work here, I'm very, very thankful. They have chosen my studio out of all of the studios in the whole world because of something they've heard, some music has moved them, they like the sound of the music that's recorded here, and they trust me because I've worked on some records that they seem to have liked. There is no way to have a pet peeve about enjoying your time and your work. I couldn't ask for a better job. There's nothing better I could ever be doing. I love this place. I love my job. I love working in music. I love working with people because every time someone comes to your house to record, well, my house, because my house is my studio, but every time they come here, you have a unique experience and you bond. I've never had a bad session here. There's been moments when people get frustrated and you just got to keep them plugging along and keep them on track. But the biggest thing is to try to make everyone have a great time when they're recording because that does come across when you are recording and that makes it to the tape or to the hard drive whatever you're using we used to have a tape machine here but it's really hard to maintain one they require a lot of work it's very dusty and sandy and hot it melts rubber and it messes up the tape heads so now I use Pro Tools only although I still have the original 16 track half inch that we recorded a lot of the early albums that we recorded here a lot of Caius, Earthlings, Wool and then we stepped up to a one inch machine which was really cool and then finally we got into a two inch machine but that thing was breaking down all the time I can't say that that's a pet peeve that's just a problem that you try to get over and that's what we did we just got people to fix it and we moseyed on and continued recording. I am one of the luckiest people in the whole world because I live at a place I consider to be one of the most beautiful places on earth. I have everything I need to create music with my friends and my family and with people I've never met who I bond with and become friends with for life. Because once you've made a record with someone, you have sealed the deal to be in a friendship for your whole life. That's what it amounts to. You definitely see into each other because they're giving it everything they've got and you're trying to make their dream realized. So what I do is I try my very best to show people a great time. I try to make them welcome immediately. I try to cook for them if possible or share the cooking duties with the people that are here. That's something I really love to do. And it's fun because the kitchen is in the middle of the house. So the smells are permeating each room and people get into it. It, it kind of is like burning incense, frankincense and myrrh. It gets around your house and gets into your soul and gets on to the music that you're putting out. I'm very, very fortunate that I've had so many cool bands record here. A lot of my friends are the most talented musicians I know and some of the coolest people. And they've brought in even cooler projects that I never would have. Because I don't know them, yet they've been given the go-ahead by the people that I know and have worked with. It's very interesting to see how many people are inspired when they come here. The house is pretty much littered with so many cool instruments that I found at the swap meet or I bought along the way and much more than that I've been really really fortunate to have friends that work at many different companies who enjoy the music that's recorded here and they have either donated gear to me or they've sold it to me at a very very reasonable cost to cover their asses at their jobs and a lot of the bands that come in bring stuff and leave it here because they know it'll get used 
and create some more music that might inspire other people. I use everything. I'm in the middle of a session right now and I'm breaking out all my toys because it's so much fun. Making music is the coolest gig you could ever want. When you're in the studio, you create the music that can also get you on the road. So what you record translates to you touring. And touring means traveling and meeting new people and playing shows. I've played shows to four people and I've played shows to 100,000 people. And they're all the same. They're all fun. They all have their moments. They're all things you can look back on and have a really beautiful memory to share or to keep to yourself and think about when you're bored and lonely. But I don't really get bored and lonely here very often. I'm surrounded by a lot of very, very cool people. Hutch lives next door. Brian O'Connor, who I played with in Eagles of Death Metal, lives next door, and he records Mojave Lords with me. My friend Bingo, who I have Rancho de la Luna Mezcal with, and the Mojave Lords, he lives next door. I'm surrounded by such cool people. My friend Christopher Thorne from Blind Melon lives next door. So we have this great group of cool musicians that live right next door so at the drop of a hat we can come over and start making music what this has to do with pet peeves I really don't know but since I don't have pet peeves about recording I thought I would just share a little other information with you another great thing about this studio is pretty much everything is plugged in and ready to go at all times so that when you are surrounded by your friends that make great music it doesn't take long to set up so you don't get frustrated or anxious you just start having a great time immediately you turn on the computer you turn on the microphone you turn on the amp plug in a guitar and the next thing you know you're rolling and having a great time I wish everyone could come here and hang out and make music that the people that are musicians and I wish the people that aren't musicians could come to see how it is done because it's not like any other thing you've witnessed if you've never been in a recording session and seen the way that ideas and parts fly around and land together and accelerate the beauty of the music that's to be shared later on it's a very unique moment when someone says I have an idea can you make this happen and you run and as quickly as possible you plug in what they want to use or you have some ideas and you grab things and the next thing you know they're laying down a beautiful part that turns a whole song around that hopefully will make someone feel great when they hear it because as you know music is the greatest thing on earth I want to thank you all for supporting the Tune It Down, Turn It Up folks because they truly are great people that love music and they know how to throw a party and it's imperative that people support others like them that are only doing good for people to show people love and respect and fun because that's what the world needs. You need to take charge of heavy situations and you also need to show people that there is a lot of love and wonderful stuff in life not just bad things because on the social medias these days they try to push a narrative of everything's falling apart and yeah things are bad and they always have been and sometimes they've been a little more hidden than usual but right now you need to keep positive and continue doing the things that make you happy. Music is definitely one of the greatest things that anyone can offer. It's art for art's sake. Songs just come to you. I guess some people sit down and write songs about commercialism. They have something they know will sell so they have to write we have this many beats per minute we have to do that because that's a hit song beat per minute thing 
and we have to have this hook that I know will catch people and we need this and that. I personally don't work that way. I sit down and I just let it come through me. Not saying that I'm making any music that moves people, just saying that's the way I work. I love letting things happen. I love turning on things. Sometimes the greatest thing that you can do is just turn on a broken instrument and it's making some crazy noise that takes you in a whole different direction than you thought you were going. It's interesting how things work. Sometimes when you're searching for the thing that you think you need, you'll never find it. And other times you just stumble upon it. And that's one of the greatest things about having so much at your fingertips. I'm very, very, very fortunate that I can have this kind of stuff to turn on and make interesting music for people. And I'm very, very fortunate that people come here and enjoy what I do and seek me out to work with. So no, there's no pet peeve in this business. Not for me. I don't have time for that. I just want to create things that people love. And I want to try to stay positive and put all the negativity behind me and strive for what is right and good. And I hope you do too. And I hope you have a great time at this festival. It truly is a very special festival put together by some extraordinary people that just made it happen. And I'd like to thank all of them for including me in that. And I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to me ramble on. I hope you enjoy yourselves today. I know you will. There's great bands and they are performing great music for you. So just enjoy it, have an awesome evening, and I will see you after the next band.